Hey y'all. So I got another story time for y'all. I got a whole bunch of them. Like I need to just start posting these. <sighs> Alright, so a couple years ago, I knew that was going for them. A couple years ago when we had first moved in the house. Well, no, we probably was living here for like probably like a year or so. Cause by then I had when I first moved here, I had a Buick. And then I got my Volkswagen. And then I got my journey. So this is my third car. So I'm gonna say that was 2015 when I got that. So 2016, we moved here 2014. Anyway, so we um now Mercia had a big uh Ram 1500 and then I had my journey. So I like parking in the back. Park in the back, go through the back. She liked parking in the front. So I will always park my journey in the back. So Leland, we would take Leland to school and we would rotate cars. So one morning she we would take her car, the next morning we'd take my car, however we did. So this particular morning, it was my turn to take them. But I stole Marcia car keys and I was like, I'm gonna take her car. So I took her car and we can't I was off that day, so I came back in the house, I went to sleep. So went and got Leland in her car and never even thought about it like never it was like oh let me go get my car so finally we was running to the store finally was running to the store so i was like she was like well we drove your car i'm in mean, my car um we'll take your car so i'm like oh, all right cool so we come out the back door and of course i so we i'm pulled in so the front of the car is facing the back door whereas though now i'm parked the butt of the, the trunk of the car is facing the back door but i had my car the opposite way so when i walked out the back door i got right into the driver's seat so mercia had to walk around now in the midst of this i don't know how we didn't notice oh i know how okay so in the midst of this we walked around and mercia opens the door she gets in and when she gets in i heard boom so I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, yo, like, you slammed the door hard as shit. You broke my window. She like, how could I have broke the window? All I did was shut the door. I said, Marcia, the glass is all in the car. So she like, I didn't break your window. So I'm like, what the fuck? Now listen, okay. So she gets out, we get out the car and we look in. So we like, what the fuck? Now, let me rewind back to the night before. So the night before, we had went to the market. The kids had wanted lunch for the next day. So I was like, all right, well, I'll go grab some lunch meat and then I'll get them something, you know, something for dinner. So I do that and I'm parking my car in the back. So it was this guy, this drunk guy. She looked like she up to no fucking good. So it was this drunk guy um that lived on the opposite street ain't nothing over here for you miss because she looking to get in my trash so it was this drunk guy um that lives on the next block so he comes out in the back and he usually drinks and stuff like that so he was walking in the middle of the street i mean in the middle of the driveway and he was staggering now i live three corner three houses from the corner so all i had to do was turn in and park so he he's staggering so he's like standing there and I'm like, can you get out the way? So I beeped the horn. So he started fussing and cussing. Fuck you. You know, da 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 da. So I'm like, what? I'm like, listen, I don't got time. Like, I got shit to do. I got to feed my kids. Like, go ahead about your day. So he's still fussing and cussing, but he moved. So we parked and we got out and he's, you know, was walking. So never thought nothing about it. You know, when about his day, he was drunk. Mind you, I see this man every day because he sits outside in the back with all the older guys that sit out there. Now, this guy is, his name is some Vladimir or something like that. He's like Russian or something. I don't fucking know. So, I didn't think nothing of it. So, that's when the next day we come outside and we see the window is bust. So, we snap him. Cause at the end of the day that has to get paid for so i'm like oh shit let me look at the camera this pussy and i don't think i still got i might still have it in my phone i'm gonna look 
But this pussy climbed up onto my back door and took the camp. Matter of fact, I'm going to show y'all real quick. This pussy climbed up onto the back of my damn thing. Now, I'm going to show y'all where the camera is at. So the camera is right here, right? And my car was parked right here. So he climbed up, and I can't flip the camera while I'm recording. He climbed up there and took the camera and pointed the camera down. Now I can't even climb up here. I don't know what he did, but he climbed up there, he put the camera down. But mind you, you see him, now he live over here. So you see him, mind you, this is all on camera. He walking up to the car, so he like this. He walking up, he looking in the car, you know, he doing stuff, he walking around it, and then he walks all the way out the way and goes up and like comes off the side and goes up and climbs and push the window down. So I'm like, I bet the camera down. So I'm like, you fucking nut. Like you fucking wear this shit. So I'm like, oh, all right. So now I got proof that you fucking did it. So I call the cops and I'm like, listen, I need to make a police report because Mercy, like, you gotta be legal. So I was like, listen, fuck that. So she was like, oh, I'll be back. So I'm like, all right. So she went to her guy's house. So she go, so I go knock on his door. So I'm like, why the fuck did you bust my windows? He like, I don't know. Now listen to this. Hold on. Let me rewind. So when we came outside, now mind you, we didn't come outside till 6.30. He sat on his fucking balcony and waited until we came outside. He smiled when he realized that I knew that my window was bust. And he took his happy ass in the house. So that's when I went banging on his fucking door. So he had like a daughter at a time. She had to be about seven. So she comes to, she's standing in the doorway with him and his, his wife. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It was his mom and the little girl crying. I'm like, listen, I don't give a fuck about your kids at this point. Cause not once did you give a fuck about my kids. You didn't even think about what the fuck you was doing. Now he busted right on Leland's fucking car seat. So we had to throw the car seat in the trash. I mean, it was so, I'm gonna put the pictures on here. It was so much fucking glass. Now, in my journey, I had the regular back window, and then I had the little back window. So he took a chisel and tried to bust the back window, but he couldn't bust it because it was so thick. But it it penetrated it, and the glass broke. But it didn't break. It didn't fall out. It just was shattered. So we called the cops or whatever. So right, I went to his house, cussed him out, whatever. I was ready to. I was ready for war. Like I wanted to fight. I'm like, call anybody at this point. Anybody. I have no pics. So, um, we go back around. Now, my job said it's like 6.30. The cops didn't come to like 8.30. So, um, the cops come. They ask us what happened. Um, so, they make the police report. You know, they tell us, you know, you got to call, get the number, whatever, whatever. And we show them the video. No, they, yeah, we show them the video and then they go, they go about their way. All right. So, that story a little long. So, then... Marcia come back. Now, mind you, I told you she had the ram. So, she comes back to the house. So, she like, you ready, babe? So, I'm like, it's whatever. Like, it's whatever. So, we throw our sneakers on. We hop in the truck. Now, mind you, the car is parked, but the truck is parked in the front. We ride around to the back. He has like a, um, like a, a old pickup truck, probably like from the 1980s, 1990s, something like that. So he got it parked in his driveway and everybody is outside and he's in the house. So we pull up and Marcia got a bat in her hand. She gets out of the car. Now, I, mind you, this, this kind of low-key turned me on because I ain't never see her. Like, I'm always the rowdy one. I'm always the one that's like, I smack the shit out of a bitch. I run up on a bitch, all that. Marcia usually when I was like, come on, baby, it ain't even worth it, ain't it? You know, and I'm like, whatever. This fucking day, she hopped out that fucking truck. Then you know we little. We only 5'2", five 5'3". Five she hopped out that fucking truck. She went over to that fucking car. 
She swung that shit back with all that force and her motherfucking tiny arms bust out all those windows but one. Now, mind you, I'm standing on top of the truck now. And I'm like, you fucking pussy. I'm like, this is exactly what the fuck you get. You lucky we don't come tear that fucking house up. Like, we snapping. Like, she fucking the windows up. So, mind you, all you hear is boom, boom. Tiana came running to her window, looking out the window, and then they made her run outside. And then, now mind you, at this time, I see a brother lived with us, and he is tiny as hell. And he probably like 5'5". Five, five. So he comes running out the back, and he like, oh my God. Like, cause it, it, honestly, it ain't nothing he could do. So, all right, so it's the front window, and then the two windows, and I think he had two in the back. And then it's the back window on the truck. So, Marcia didn't get the back window. And she didn't get one of the windows. Because I'm like, all right, babe. Like, you chill, chill. Like, but I, at one point, I'm like, all right, now you snapping the fuck out. So, she's like swinging the bat. And I'm like screaming like, babe, babe, stop. Like, but I'm trying not to get hit with the fucking bat. But I'm like, yo, chill, chill. So, she was like, no, fuck that nigga. Like, da 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 So, I'm like, oh, my God. So we hops in the truck. And mind you, we are one, two, three, four, five. We're six houses away. So we didn't necessarily need to get in the car. We could have just walked out the back door and walked over there. So we hop in the car, go around, park the car, and then come out through the back. Because now he comes out in the back and he's screaming and howling, hooping and hollering. So I'm like, listen, I don't give a fuck about what you talking about at this point because you had you didn't give zero fucks when you bust my windows. You didn't think about my kids. You want me to give a fuck about your daughter? I don't give a fuck about her. So she's on the balcony screaming and crying like, oh, my God, daddy. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck. That's how my kids felt. Oh, my God, I never seen his wife. So the guy that, I'm just, that I just said I never seen his wife, he pulled me to the side and was like, he bust your windows out. He was like, but you know, like, nobody gonna say nothing. And I'm like, that's crazy. Like, he like, yeah, I seen him bust your windows. He did it like around 9.05. So this is the thing, right? He put my camera down. He knew that he knew the time that we left out the house. He knew that we got out in the morning and we took the kids to school. So he knew, he, I guess he thought like we was going to take that. He knew we was going to take the kids to school. And I guess he was going to wait until we came back. But since we never came back, I mean, we never came out here. We didn't take, you know, we didn't take them. But see, that's where he fucked up at is because when Mercedes brother was living with us, he came outside at nine. Cause he had to go to work. He had to be to work at 9.30. So he came outside at nine o'clock and he took the trash out. So Mercedes brother seen him. And I'm sorry, he bust my windows at like 9.15. And Mercedes brother seen him at like around like 9.05. And he seen him around 9.05. And that's when he was looking. So he was walking over here when they both were out here. And Mercedes brother seen them and she didn't really, you know, I mean, him, sorry, he didn't really, um, you know think like you know what he was doing he thought he was just walking down the driveway because like i said he's always out here so we calculate the time we sitting there like before um well after all this happened that's when we end up you know calculating the time but anyway when we was outside in the backyard we was you know whooping and hollering i kept like lunging at him because like i really wanted to just smack the shit out of him or spit on him or something because i'm like you're fucking corny you only did that because it was two females that lived in the house i don't think they knew anything about her brother being here but they knew that me and marcia lived here they knew that it was two females but if it was a nigga living here he would have never done it a grown ass man, he would have never done that. So I'm like, you a nut, like you corny. Like, so he calls the cops and the cops come. So the cops like, um, this story is a little long because it, it get a little bit deeper. So um the cops come, so they like asking us. So when the cops come, we like, I don't, you know, I don't know. I don't know what happened. So the cops like, so y'all don't know who busts his window. So I'm like, no, I know he busts my windows for a fact. So, um, the cops had, like, came in our back door, and I pulled up the video. Now, mind you, I'm live streaming all this. 
because I know how motherfuckers play. So luckily it was black cops. So um, the cops was like, well, honestly, the only thing he could do is make a police report because there's no proof that he did it. I mean, you know, he's like, they was like, there's no proof that y'all did it. So there's nothing that he could do. So I'm like, yeah, that's fucked up. Like, that's crazy. So um, we show the cops the video. So when we go back outside, he like, um, cause there's been people around the neighborhood and they've been, um, slashing people tires. I'm like, what do slashing people tires have to do with busting out windows? You know, for a fact that you bust out my window, like that ain't have anything to do with slashing tires. So anyway, that went on or whatever the cops ended up leaving. And that was that. So, um, we go and we go get the car fixed. So Mercia paid for my windows to get fixed. So she took them to my uncle. So, but being though my car was that year, it was expensive. My car was in 2015, and it literally was like 2016. Like it wasn't the car didn't even have 10,000 miles on there yet. Yeah, 10,000 miles yet. So, um, oh no, I don't want to roll the window. So he was like, um, so my uncle like, well. You know, y'all gonna have to find the windows, whatever, whatever. So, but he asked, like, well, what happened? Like, how'd your windows give us? So, Mercy, and I told Mercy, I said, don't tell him. My uncle is not one of the type of people that you tell this stuff to because he throwed off. And then he's, the guy is white. So my, my uncle, like my, my uncle is like, you know, fuck all them white people. I ain't working for none of them. You know, they ain't going to slay me. He one of them type of people. So I was like, don't tell him. Just make up saying. So she like, no, fuck that. He that, you know, da 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 da. So she tells my uncle. So my uncle starts snapping. He like, where he live at? And my uncle real calm. So he like, where he live at? So she like, yeah, he live around the corner of us. She like, what's his ad? He like, what's his address? So she like, da 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 da. She like, and he, you ain't do nothing to him. So Mercy was like, no, like, you know, we asked him to move. So she going down the line, and he like, I'm gonna fuck this nigga up. I'm like, no. He like, she ain't tell me what to do. I'm your uncle. I'm like, I'm like, Mercy, please. We already done got him back. Just let it go. Like, don't tell him nothing else. He's fucking crazy. Like, you want to get some shit, crazy shit happening. My uncles don't play. So I'm like, just let it go. So we end up getting, she ended up getting the windows fixed. We hit about our day. So I'm going to say a good two years later, I get this thick packet in the mail. So it's like, it's from Judge Judy. Judge Judy, I guess. So it was like, oh, you've been summoned to court against Vladimir, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then his information was private. So I'm scared because I'm like, oh my God, like, what the fuck is this? Like, what did I do? I'm like, I didn't. Why do I have a case against me? Bitch. $2,500. I said, who the fuck is suing me for $2,500? What the fuck did I do? So I'm not even going to fry like, fry. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I was low-key scared. Like, I'm, like, thinking, like, what the fuck have I done? Like, and it's on my mind constantly. So, um, it, it tells you, like, to respond or whatever. And, and the details of it, um, it was in L.A., so they pay for four people to come with you, like four witnesses to come with you, you plus three other people. And they give you vouchers for the three days that you're there to eat. You get um, breakfast, lunch, and dinner for each day. Like they give you a certain amount of money. It was like um, $50, each, um, $50 for each meal each day. So, and then they pay for your hotel. Um, they pay for transportation for you to you know get wherever you're going and then they also pay you i think it was a thousand dollars to just appear on the show 
and then they also pay like whoever won i mean like so if i had to pay him 25 um 2500 they would pay the 2500 for me so before i read all that i was like i'm not going to that shit like because i don't like i'm not going there like i'm just not so the mercy was like reading all the details and she was like no babe we should go because even if you lose you don't have to pay or if you um do one against him like if you counter to him then you get the money so i'm like oh all right i'm like and so she's like and they pay for your flight you know you could take up the three other people so i'm like all right so i'm like thinking about it so i'm like all right we'll meet you her brother gonna go and then i take somebody else like cash my niece so we end up not replying to that one and we got another one from judge another judge um i forgot his name judge was it joe brown I think it was Judge Joe Brown. And so we was like, we called and we was like, all right, we're going to come. We're going to do it. So they couldn't get in contact with him. So that's why we didn't end up going on the show. So then that was done. So I'm like, okay, fuck it. So a couple months later, I get another thick packet. But this one is from the city of Philadelphia. And it's like, you've been summoned to court. So I'm like, oh, so he took me to small claims court. I'm like, okay. So I go to small, um, so me and Marcia go to small claims court and um, her brother couldn't go. So I'm fucking nervous. You ever be so nervous like you gotta take a shit? Like your stomach just be fucked up. Like I was so, like, so nervous. So we had to be there at 9 30. We get there and we're waiting and waiting. When I tell you we did not get seen until two o'clock, we were the third people. This one case went forever. Like, so if y'all ever watched the um the show The Haves and the Haves Not, the black judge, that's what this judge looked like. So finally he gets to my case. So he calls us up. So I have everything printed out. I have the video already pulled up on my phone. I have the police reports. I have everything. So I'm like, let's go. So he calls us up there. And because it okay, and no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So before you go in there, they um they let you see a mediator. So we go see the mediator. So the mediator, like, okay, well, you know, this is your opportunity to settle it before y'all go to the judge. So, you know, do y'all want to settle it? So he was like, Well, if you give me fifteen hundred, you know, we can forget it. I said, I'm not paying you $1,500. Like, you bust my windows. So he's like, I didn't bust your windows. So we like kind of got into like a little debate. And she's like, well, no, we can't do that. Um, we was just giving y'all the opportunity to settle. She was like, so you don't want to, you're not going to pay him the $1,500? I said, no. She's like, okay, well, there's nothing that we could do. Y'all going to see the judge. So I'm like, okay, like, fuck it. So then we get to our case or whatever. So we finally go. So, like I said, I'm like nervous so mercy is like trying to calm me down she like you know relax babe it's okay like you good like i'm like it's easier said than done like i've never been in this situation before so i'm nervous like why well, actually i have but that's another story time so anyway so we go um so we get up there so the judge okay is like okay what happened so he starts telling his side right so the judge like i don't understand so he's like trying to tell the judge and the judge like this is not making no sense so she just walked up to your car and just bust your windows out so he says this no 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 she didn't bust my windows out she did the other girl so the judge was like well you don't have a case against her you have a case against her talking about me so the judge was like so you seen them bust your windows out so he like yeah 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 so he was like well do you have any videos any you know proof so he like no so he like well how can you say that you she bust your windows out so he like trying to go back and forth you know we're not understanding so um the judge was like let me hear from you miss so i'm like hello so he like hi so he like what happened so i'm like on such so as that i'm giving them dates times and everything i'm like i'm driving through my backyard 
I'm trying to park. He was drunk, belligerent, screaming, F you, you know, this, this, be that. And he, um, so then the next morning, he's walking down the street. Um, my brother-in-law seeing him standing by my car. And then he climbs up onto my back window and he puts my, my mirror down, I mean, my camera down. And then he proceeds to go around the other side and bust my window out. So the judge was like, what? Do you have any videos, anything? So I was like, yes. So I, you know, I pulled it up. So they gave it to him. So he brings it back. So then the judge goes, this, this is ridiculous. So he got like something. And he said, he's like, this is ridiculous. And he like threw it down. And he was like, this is a criminal case. He was like, y'all not supposed to be in my office with this. Y'all supposed to be in a whole completely different court. He said, Miss Pettigrew, you should have took his ass to court. You should have pressed charges against him because why what what was why did he do that? So I'm like, I don't know. I was like, I could show you the video from the night before when he was in the hallway. I mean in the walkway, the driveway, you know, being belligerent and stuff. So the judge was like, You must have been out your mind if you thought that I was gonna award you twenty five hundred if you bust this lady windows. He was like, and even if she did bust your windows, you deserved it. Why would you bust her windows out? So I showed him the pictures of my car, the car seat everything and he was like no this is crazy he was like i'm throwing this case out i'm not awarding you anything and he was like he was like what judge that he was like it's settled that's it defendant i mean he's he's like plaintiff this case is dismissed you're not going to be awarded anything and he hit the gravel and i was like oh my god like that was a fucking sense of relief like I was just so fucking overjoyed. I walked out like, like, ah, you mad, you mad. I ain't do that to him. I was just saying that in my head. So when we got back around the way, he had this, um, like the car thing over his car. He had his car parked there for about a good three years before he moved it with the window still bust. When I tell you since that day we went to court, I've never seen that man again. When he lost that case, I've never seen him again. He don't sit out in his back no more. He don't come sit out with the guys around here. Nothing. Never seen him again. I don't know if anything happens to him. I honestly don't even see anybody at that house. I did see a car parked there a couple times, but I don't see them no more. But it's like, oh, well. You thought you was going to have your little be privileged and everything was going to be good and you was wrong. That shit was crazy. And after that, ain't nobody fuck with us around here again.